Uh, Baker Mayfield, after getting a win Speaking of Narcomania. against Cincinnati, yeah, he was not happy with how Odell Beckham Jr.'s injury was handled. Here's Baker Mayfield. I'd say that wasn't handled right. He's not able to run as well as he should be able to, uh, as well as he knows, and that's frustrating for him. You can sense that's some of his frustration where that comes from. So wouldn't handle the right way in our training room. So it is what it is. And so his not 100% is still good enough for us. His train is probably want to break his leg. He could cost people their jobs. And, and, and imagine. And then he had to back off on Twitter right away because he probably got read the riot act. Well, but he's, he's going to the depths to keep the relationship good with Odell. Yeah, Odell's gone anyway. You know what Jake Glazer said? Yeah. He said he's going to get traded. He wants to be traded. He, he said he, he said talked he, to people on the field. He said all year, supposedly, if you didn't hear the Jay Glazer report, all year Odell Beckham Jr. has been saying to people he's friends with in the league, come get me out of here. Yeah, and if you want to doubt Jay Glazer, he's the one who said last year he was getting traded from the Giants. People said he was wrong, he's crazy, and he turned out to be right. Jay if Glazer, you want to doubt that. Jay Glazer, he was on Ballers and has one of the best parties at Super Bowl week every year. So Glazer no, does? His, his in, yeah, Glazer has a big party every his year. His information is uh, is spot on usually. He's a, he's a weird body type. And, and I know there's going to get a lot of Jet fans listening to this going, oh, you got to go get Odell. Don't touch this guy. You know, uh, a friend of mine who's a big Giant fan, <laughs> big Giant fan, said Dave Gettleman's made a lot of mistakes. Trading Odell was not one of them. You know what? He's I, probably right. I, I didn't think that was true, and this weekend is making me think. And it, you know what the right. shame of this whole a thing is? A lot of nozzle. This is somebody that could be one of the great, if not the greatest wide receivers ever, right? When Just looking oh, yeah. at how Talent? he played and started his career. But th unfortunately, this is the millennial athlete, right? There's no more Ronnie Lott carve off a piece of my pinky so I can play in the Super Bowl. It's about... How do I get attention? How do I get paid? It's not really about trying to build a career someplace. It's about trying. They want to win because winning is part of the whole formula. But it's still that me attitude of instead of trying to make a situation better by being so talented that you can't help but make that team better. But I don't. It's all I got it. After one tough season in which they've had their share of injuries and it's his first year there, instead of trying to find a way to make it better. It's get me out of here. I'm and you know what? He'll play his 10 years, and he'll he'll put up his numbers, and he'll make his money. But does he truly want to be great at what he does? Well, I just don't want this reputation to trickle down to all great wide receivers. Because you look throughout the league, and there's Odell, and, and there's Antonio Brown. But there's Juju, who seems great. There's Julio Jones. There's Larry Fitzgerald. You know, we act like that era is completely gone. Well, it's but, not. But, but, but you know what? Maybe Larry Fitzgerald carved out of an era before it really started to happen. He's been in the league for well, over what, a decade. I think this is Julio, a relatively though? new phenomenon. But Julio's, Julio's, but, you know, and Julio's been trying to get his, too. I mean, he's held well, no, out he, and all that. He but, wanted, no, no, but he, but he did it in a way where he made, made no, very I, clear I, he wanted listen, to stay. Listen, there's exceptions to every rule, Peter. But I think the true... You know, great superstars like him. If he had Julio Jones's attitude, maybe he would be still in New York and, and it'd be winning. Or, all right, it didn't work out in New York. I'll go to Cleveland, make it right. So in one year where things didn't work, now he wants to go take his ball and go play someplace else. And then he'll go there. And if they get off to a slow start or the quarterback gets hurt, oh, well, I'm going to want to get be, out of here again. It'll be really interesting to see if he leaves right away, too, and what Jarvis Landry has to say about that. Because Landry, if you watch that team at all, Landry's the guy. Yep. Isn't that interesting? Do we ever get... What well, I'm curious for Landry's stats on the year because when <clears throat> when you watch the team, it it I don't know statistically that he has bigger numbers, but when you watch them, uh, let's see, 69 receptions, 995 yards, five touchdowns. So he's higher in every single category. And when you watch him in the big moments, it's Landry's team. Even yesterday, he mm -hmm. had the he had the catch that ended the game. He's that dude. By the way, Landry's damn good. By the way, um, so.